Hi, how we doing folks? Welcome to Weekend Challenges, Sunday, April 28th. Hopefully it's a beautiful day wherever you at. It's a beautiful day over here in Newark, New Jersey. If I'm even in Newark, New Jersey, I might be in New York today actually working. Who knows? I record this a couple days in advance, so <laughs> take my weather with, uh, with a grain of salt right here. Uh, so, we took down already the Chill Penguin, we took out the Electric Mandal, we took out the, the Armored Armadillo, and that clown right there took me out. <laughs> I wanted to cooperate, I didn't want to edit that out there, because we're human. We all make mistakes. That's my one death uh, in, this, uh, in this stage, and I messed this motherfucker up next time, son. I like to curse, but I didn't appreciate how he humbled me on my own channel like that. Uh, but good, good for him. Good kill. Uh, so, now we gotta take on Storm Eagle right here. Uh, the thing is, I never know whether to go to the, to the Mammoth guy now, whether to go to the Eagle dude. I go to the Eagle because I want to get, uh, the head upgrade, even though when I play through this the first time, I skip it. Um, so I could get the, uh, other upgrade in the Flame Paw, so I could get the upgrade to the Buster. Um, which you don't have to get, you could, uh, you Zero gives it to you eventually, but I'd rather have it. Um... So that's why I prefer doing it this way, but whatever, man. I mean, the, in theory, you could beat any boss at any time, uh, just with the X-Bus itself. Uh, you gotta be pretty good to be able to do that. Um, I'd rather use the advantages I get, you know, in terms of the weaponry and killing them in some sort of uh, order. But, you can pick and choose. I prefer Storm Eagle, you can kill pretty easily with the Buster. Uh, even though I'm pretty sure he's probably gonna take me down like every boss did this time playing through Mega Man X. I gotta take it to the limit, to the wire. Shout out to my man Kanye, who definitely is not watching the channel. I can tell you that. He's got a baby mama, and he's got a baby on the way, man. That's crazy. All right, so managed to get the subtech. I don't want to talk about babies or Kanye West. Managed to get the subtech. Now, I'm looking for the hard tank. I'm trying to remember where the hell is this hard tank at. And I popped that guy, so it was pretty cool. I always enjoy those sound effects. And I'm thinking, I don't know if I have to jump out here. I knew I had to jump from a very high spot to another spot. And I wasn't too sure where it was. I'll show you later on in the video. It's right at the beginning, um, but... First time playing through, I didn't remember, and I had to do a little bit of exploring to figure this out. Just like the first time playing through, I didn't remember where the hell the damn head uh, headpiece was either. I almost jumped out over there. Uh, you know, these platforms, they're pretty simple, especially compared to the stuff that we've been through in Mega Man games in the past. You know, like Mega Man 2, Mega Man 3, though, that kind of platforming I'm talking about. These are pretty simple, but eh, they got their, their fair amount of trickeration in them. What I want to talk about a little bit... I uh, want to reminisce a little bit with you guys, if you allow me, uh, while we play through some uh, some Mega Man X. Uh, I was thinking about this the other day, uh, when um, when I was thinking about what next game or game I'll do uh, further in the series, you know, the, of this uh, kind of Let's Play, Let's Talk uh, series. This guy just respawned it. Come on, man. Um, and I was trying to think, well, what, what kind of favorite games would I like to show? Um, and I always held pretty firm that my favorite system was the Super Nintendo. That was it. That was my favorite system. I came over here, I saw that I needed the flame thing to get the headpiece. I was like, ah, oh, yes, yes, yes. That is why you have to get the flame guy before you do this, that. Okay, I could see now what I was thinking there. Um, so yeah, probably do the flame guy before this dude, but whatever. With the powers of editing, I'll show it to you all in the end. Um, so for it all, I always held out that my favorite system was a Super Nintendo, hands down. Uh, the graphics, the controls were great. Um, I grew up with this, so it has that nostalgic feeling too. It's really the first system I uh, owned and played a lot. Um, but as I was sitting here and I was thinking about, you know, what game I'd do next, uh, I, you know, my, f if I had to sit down, the game, the system that I probably played the most and enjoyed the most games out of, would probably be the N64. Man, I've played. A hell of a lot of N64 games, and I've enjoyed a lot of N64 games. I think the the library for Super Nintendo games might be a bit better in terms of obviously in terms of role playing games. I think it's a bit better, um, and uh, a bit better, a lot better in terms of role playing games. I can tell you that. And uh, you know, in terms of this kind of uh, cartoonish, or in terms of this uh, 2D sprite, uh, I think this was kind of the pinnacle, the peak. This, the, the Genesis game, that was it. Um, and I think there's a the big theme for that. Maybe the DS could kind of revive that a little bit. Uh, but this was the peak, you know, especially when I was growing up. And then 64, it was the early age, you know, it was that the, the transition between, you know, the beginning of the 3D where it was, it was cool, it was new. 
but it wasn't all that great if you go and look back at it. Uh, I'm not saying that those games aren't great, uh, but you know, this games are a lot better graphics now. This games are a lot better controls now. They may not be better in story, they might not be better in, uh, in the epic, but it's better. So it's an interesting argument, and I want to throw it at you guys. Drop down in the comment what your favorite system was, um, and still is. You know, what, what was it? What do you think in your mind it was? But what in reality do you think it is? And now uh, this guy, going back right here to the gameplay, Storm Eagle, son, managed to pop him. This fool almost killed me too, man. Everybody almost killed me in this game. This is crazy. I, I should be mowing these fools down. Instead, they're just annihilating. All right. So here's your password if you need it for anything in your life. I'll just throw it up over there. I really like the password music. So let's flash over here. Uh, now, you remember where I pointed out that you needed that flame thing? Uh, all right. So let's come right back over here. Powers of editing, man. It is great. Come back over here with the flame. And boom. There we go. And talk to my man, Dr. Light. What's up, homie? Now, I understand it's a video game. So it's video game logic. But if I really need this so badly, why would you hide it, Dr. Light? Why would you put this capsule somewhere I can't reach it? You hating right now. You trying to impede my progress. And I'm trying to I'm trying to remember, uh, hold up, what 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 did he say? What do I shut I was like, should I go back and reread that stuff? There we go. Hop right back in there. Cause I skipped right through and I wasn't sure whether these guys want to see it or not. And I thought about maybe restarting and I was like, eh, hey, you know what? Let's hop right in there. And there we go. Test it out. Add a button. Alright, so like I said at the beginning, the hard piece, right at the beginning, right in this little first platform right over here. Get yourself comfortable, and then just jump off, and bada-beam, bada-boom, you got that hard expansion. I right, hope you're enjoying the series. Check it out next week. Hope you all have a great weekend.